This is the house where you was born and bred at. Yeah, better than being born outdoors. What a lovely background for your home life. I wouldn't give it to my dog to raise fleas in. Mm. So clean and nice and warm-hearted. First chance I get, I'm gonna burn the damn thing down. <laughs> But Red and Pearly is yours, and that's what counts, like me as Amy Lou hey, Come here. You see that big white house perched on top of that hill with them two windows looking right down at us like two eyeballs? Uh huh. That's where old Captain lives. Oh, Captain. Stonewall Jackson Kotchpe, he owns his dump, not me. Oh. And that ain't all. Hill and dale, field and farm, truck and tractor, horse and mule, bird and bee, and bush and tree and cotton. Cotton by the bowl and by the bale. Every bit of cotton you see in this county, everything and everybody he owns. Everybody? You mean he owns people? Well, look, ain't a man, woman, or child working in this valley, ain't in debt to that old bastard. <gasps> Busted. Buzzard. And that includes Get Low and Missy, everybody except me. <laughs> but folks can't own people no more, Ram Pearly. Miss Emmy Lou says. You ain't working for Miss Emmy Lou no more. You're working for me, Pearly Victoria's freedom is my business. And I say that old man runs this plantation on debt. The longer you work for Old Cap Cotchby, the more you owe to commissary. And if you don't pay up, you can't leave. <laughs> I don't give a damn what Miss Emmy Lou nor nobody else says. That's slavery. I'm sorry, Ram Pearly. Don't apologize. Wait. Wait till I get my church. <laughs> Wait till I buy Big Bethel back. Wait till I stand once again in the pulpit of Grandpa Kincaid and call upon my people and talk to my people about old Captain, that miserable son of a- Wait! Wait, I say. And we'll see who's gonna dominate this valley, him or me.